Y'all, it's just rent, man. It ain't that serious, dude. Today's story, uh, this is brutal, man. I am all about collecting rent, but this is brutal. We have a little girl jailed, imprisoned because her mom didn't pay the rent. That is out of pocket. Let's talk about it. <laughs> All right, y'all, we got to talk, man. We got to talk. This particular story, okay? This is messed up, y'all. Now, there ain't nobody that wants to collect the rent more than me. I love collecting rent, and when motherfuckers don't pay the rent, I thoroughly enjoy evicting them, right? I love the smell of a sweet, sweet eviction in the morning, right? It's like a little cup of joe, but this dude... This dude took it too far, right? These guys went too crazy. This story's coming out of Kenya, right? Kenya, the country in Africa. The little town is called, I don't know, Naharuru. I don't know. I butchered that. My bad. Whatever. I don't know. Never heard of that city before, but obviously I've heard of Kenya. Y'all have heard of Kenya, right? They're, uh, you know, in the Olympics, they got all those motherfuckers just kicking everybody's ass in the fucking baton races and shit. So... They're fucking just running. Probably running from the fucking law uh, and running from their goddamn landlords because apparently uh, their landlords are freaking insane over there, okay? Uh, ooh, one other cool thing about Kenya before we get into the story. Uh, they also have a crazy, uh, crazy industry of, like, assassinations and like paid hitmen uh in relation to the taxi cab industry saw a documentary on it dude it was wild apparently taxi cabs are really big over there and all the guys that own the taxi cab companies like they're battling each other for taxi cab market share and like they hire private security and hitmen to like fucking shoot each other i don't know it's wild over there i'm not too familiar with the taxi cab industry. I do love me some Uber after a few beers. But, and when I say a few, I mean like 40. But, but, we are not talking about taxi cab and assassinations, folks. We are talking about landlords putting freaking kids in prison, basically, okay? So, what had happened? And, and this is nuts, right? Uh, there is a girl, young girl, little girl, okay? She's just chilling in her house. By the way, if you actually want to read the full story, I'll link the article below. She's just chilling in her house, sleeping, okay? Mom ain't home because mom is uh, birthing a baby. So she's at the hospital. I guess the kid's left at home alone, right? And the the uh, reporter at this point, they were really trying to like just go the extra mile and tug on the heartstrings. So they're like... Oh, the mom's giving birth to a baby. Of course she can't pay rent. Because the situation is the mom didn't pay rent, okay? The mom did not pay rent, which, fine, great, I got it. The mom didn't pay rent. The landlord has every right to try to evict uh, the family. Obviously, putting the kid in jail is totally too far. But we don't need to, like, fucking liberal it up, y'all, and, like, lay on... Uh, the victimhood here, right? Like, oh, the mom's giving birth. I didn't like that the uh, reporter that wrote the article started doing that crap. Because I guess, like, the fact that the lady's giving birth is fairly irrelevant, right? She didn't pay her bills, right? Just because some dude knocked her up doesn't mean she doesn't have to pay her bills. And, like, it certainly does not mean those bills are now the responsibility of the landlord. Unless, of course, the landlord knocked her up. But there is no evidence based upon the story and my limited amount of research I have done, in addition to reading the story, that the landlord is the one that got that cookie, okay? So the father is the one who should be paying that fucking rent, all right? But that's neither here nor there. I think the landlord should evict this bitch. I definitely do. Whether or not she's in the hospital right now giving birth to a new little motherfucking kid, doesn't matter to me. He should evict this bitch. But what he cannot do is put her other kid in prison, basically, right? So what happened is the mom, she's in the hospital fucking squirting on a new little fucking crotch demon, okay? And the other crotch demon, little girl, young girl, she's at home sleeping. And this crazy son of a bitch landlord goes to their home and, and welds the door shut, okay? He literally welds their fucking metal door shut, thereby trapping the other child in the home, imprisoning this kid in this home. What if there was a freaking house fire? This little girl would have died. Like, this is insanity, dude. It's just rent, guys. It's just rent. I want to collect the rent. 
I do everything in my power legally to collect the rent. You can't go to these types of extremes. Now, I comprehend that this is in Kenya. And shit's probably different in Kenya, right? I am not super familiar with every law in Kenya. However, I presume there is no country where you're allowed to weld the door shut and essentially kidnap and hold hostage a child because her mom didn't pay the rent. That, I'm all about, you know, investing in landlord-friendly areas, y'all, but that is, that is, that is too landlord-friendly. I cannot support that. That is so messed up. This landlord is a freaking psychopathic maniac, okay? That is uh, just just pure insanity, that that happened, okay? Uh, let's see here. What do we got? <clears throat> uh, okay, so this happens, right? So my mother, who is a casual laborer, has been unwell for some time in and out of the Naharu Hospital. When I was locked up, she was still in the hospital. We've been living here for over five years, no ice pain around a time. Okay, so heartstring, heartstring, blah, 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 blah. However, their pleas for the girl's release were met with unyielding resistance. So, like, other people found out about this in, like, the town. They became in an outrage, you know, reasonably uh, so, because, like, this crazy son of a bitch fucking kidnapped this kid, put her in jail in her own house, essentially. Uh, the neighbor... Some dude named Benson expressed outrage at the situation, describing it as barbaric. I would agree with that. That is totally messed up. Uh, so I, there's, you know, not trying to, like, butcher people's names and stuff, but uh, I don't know. A Guamity Ward, MCA Irene Wachuca, led the rescue operation and condemned the incident, questioning the agent's understanding of the pain they afflicted upon the minor and criticizing their excessive punishment okay so uh they did in fact uh get in there and break the child out which is good uh but there is no follow-up that i could find to this article which says like if the landlord was or was not arrested they didn't really say uh but what we have here folks i guess it doesn't necessarily matter because you know what do we I don't, know. I don't know. It's messed up. I don't. I don't know. But I don't think this video is going to have any standing on you know the landlord tenant laws in freaking Kenya over there. But like, dude, it's just messed up. All I'm saying is it is totally insane that this landlord thought that was a good idea to do that. Even if you are being slighted on the rent payment, bro, you can't just you can't lock a child up, bro. Freaking, you gotta you know. I mean, evict, evict the mom, sure. A victim, don't let him in your house, but you can't just lock this child up. Thank God she wasn't hurt, and thank God somebody did uh, come and rescue her. I'm curious to know if this guy ever went to jail. Based on what I'm reading, it sounds like he didn't, uh, but I would think that that would be a jailable offense. I know you guys all like to cry and whine and complain about landlords here in America, but you woke assholes, you're all like, Dah! My landlord's evil. My landlord's a rich asshole. My landlord's racist. Blah, 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 blah. All that bullshit. Well, fuck. If the landlord tried to do some shit like this in America, that dude would be facing a 25-year kidnapping charge. He'd also be facing murder if for some reason there was an emergency and that child got, uh, you know, died because she couldn't get out of that home, which would essentially become now a death trap tomb jail cell. Uh, so we get a lot of people crying and whining about landlord behavior here in America. But if landlords actually follow the laws, which an overwhelming majority of them do, it really ain't all that bad, y'all, because there is some real fucked up shit out there in other parts of the world, i.e. this particular story where there is no indication that this guy was actually arrested, which is insane to me. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.